Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be talking about the Android 15 update for the OnePlus Nord CE4. Now OnePlus Nord CE4 was launched earlier this year for a price starting around 25,000 rupees and uh, this device comes with pretty good hardware. Now we got uh, the Android 15 update and on top of that you get the Oxygen OS 15. So let's just go to the about phone you can see here. OnePlus Nord CE4 uh, with the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 and uh, we get uh, uh, the Android 15 and Oxygen OS 15. So you can see here the details Oxygen OS 15, OnePlus Nord CE4 and the software version also you can see here. Now this is the latest version. Now this is all on top of Oxygen OS 15. Now let's see what all new features it brings in. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the red also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first step, let's have a look at the UI experience. So you can see here the app drawer looks very similar, nothing much changed here. But what you can see is the animation is really smooth and uh, it looks very nice actually. You can see that the animation is really smooth and that brings in a whole lot of uh, uh, new refreshing look to the UI. So that is one good thing. And the animations just like uh, the, uh, the UI experience on flagship devices, even the budget or mid-range device also get really good animation so that's one good thing and uh, you can see that the uh, multitasking and the app switching option looks very smooth nothing much change here now if you go to the notification toggles so here we have a change now uh, you can get uh, the multiple uh, uh, or a two pane uh, notification and cube toggles now this is a single one now what you need to do is just go to the settings and uh, go to the notification and quick settings uh, you can see that quick settings uh, split option is there or the classic option now classic option means you get all the uh, quick toggles and the notification in single window now split is uh, when you get uh, if you swipe here you get the toggles the toggles are completely here now here you get the notification so that's a split screen option now that is one change now if you go to the classic uh, you get the tile shape you can change the tile shape uh, to whatever you want uh, you have plenty of uh, options available in terms of uh, tile shape so that is also included so that's the notification toggles experience now you can have a split screen or a single window now if you go to the notes the notes has changed now there are some ai features included in the notes so if we just select uh, a note uh, so i selected a note so if we select here you can see here ai assistant for notes uh, elaborate shorten formal and casual so these are options available now obviously uh, the cleanup option will clean up unwanted junk from the notes polishing uh, means obviously uh, better writing then you can elaborate or shorten the article uh, formal and casual are the tone if you want a formal tone for your notes you can go with that if you want a casual tone so these are the ai assistant available and if you go to the uh, image option or the photo gallery there also we have some changes so if you select uh, one image uh, one thing what you can see here the ai erase is there but the additional options uh, uh, the AI uh, image editor is still not available on budget devices that's, that's only available on the flagship devices so you do get AI eraser but other options like the 4k mode and uh, additional options what you've seen on the OnePlus 12 are not available here. Now apart from that in the photos apps uh, you also get uh, option uh, uh, to restore to the previous edits which means if you have done uh, multiple edits you can go back and restore to your older images because these edits are saved uh, in the photo imaging app. Uh, so that is one good thing and apart from that uh, you can also uh, change the filters uh, even once you have uh, taken the pictures. So that is additional option. Now another important thing is the themes. Now if you go to here. A wallpaper and style you can see that the flux themes so these are the new flux themes available so if you select here you can see a plenty of themes available so these are predefined themes uh, which you can select but you can't customize the text here so these are available in different colors and forms and uh, composition aerial view light and shadow uh, so sleek and then classic themes are there then we also have the always on display uh, the seamless always on display available uh, for these themes Apart from that, you can see that the icons have also changed. There are two new icons, the radiance and shadow. So you can apply this uh, new icon pack uh, for the themes. And in fonts, uh, you do get uh, the OnePlus Sans font available uh, if you want to select that. So these are the options in the customization uh, which brings in new themes and new icon packs. Now there is also live alerts. So live alerts is not something which is new but live alerts have been uh, included uh, for more apps. So for example if I uh, enter a timer, uh, start a timer, 
I can see here this is the live alerts uh, if you just tap it will bring you here and if you press and hold uh, it will take you to the app so these are live alerts uh, and uh, this is basically this is actually not live alerts apps will also show live alerts uh, using this uh, option so uh, apps like say somato or swiggy where the delivery is uh, uh, time delivery time uh, can be shown here so that is the live alert so this will be expanded to other apps as well now if you select the floating window now if you just go here uh, if you just open here and uh, open the floating window now floating window you can see here uh, this is the floating window now floating window also uh, op offers additional gestures so if you just swipe here it will close if you swipe down it will uh, minimize swipe left also you can uh, minimize so those options and the gestures are available now uh, for the uh, window so you can see here swipe up it will uh, uh, close the floating window so new gestures are included in the floating windows now oneplus share is another option where you can share uh, files directly with your ios devices so that option is also included with uh, uh, this uh, ui next is the safety and privacy option if you have the hide apps option obviously you know what hide apps means you can hide apps which are installed and others will not be able to use it and this will be protected via password so if you open the hide apps option this is the hide apps option you can access via home screen that option is there or you can access via dial pad so you can also customize the home screen icon so now i just uh, enable so you can see here this is the hide apps so whenever you uh, click this you will have to enter the password or fingerprint and then it will take you to the hidden apps folder so you can directly access it from here instead of going to the settings and privacy you can access it from here now apart from that privacy it also has some additional options now you can see here uh, these are grouped images and videos audio documents and other files so private safe has uh, options wherein you can uh, keep your files in a sorted manner like uh, uh, images and videos will go into that folder audio files documents everything will not be into single folder it will be into different folders now in the calculator app if you uh, click one plus equal to you get this logo this is an easter egg uh, available in all the uh, android 15 models now apart from this uh, there is also a new charging animation you can see this new super book animation included so what do you guys think about this animation do let us know your thoughts in the comment section these are some of the new changes uh, included in the android 15 and oxygen os 15 update for the one plus not ce4 uh, so if you have the device you can go ahead and update it uh, and uh, it will get you uh, the latest features now remember once you updated uh, it will take at least three four batteries charging cycles to get the battery uh, tuned so initially you might uh, find that the battery is not that great but then uh, over a period of time at least minimum three four charger cycle uh, it will learn your battery usage and give you the best performance so if you have the device do update it and let us know what you guys think about the new update so that's it for this video this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day